Alfred Hubbard's electromagnetic. In 1919, a young inventor named Alfred Hubbard made a groundbreaking discovery that could have revolutionized the way we produce energy. At the age of 16, Hubbard demonstrated a peculiar device to journalists from the Seattle Post. This device, connected to a light bulb, appeared to produce electricity without visible wires or conventional power sources. The invention was initially intended as a contactless ignition system for gasoline engines, but it evolved into something far more intriguing. Hubbard's invention consisted of a central coil with an iron core and eight peripheral coils, and eight peripheral coils. It is said that a rotating magnetic field was a key component of this device. To showcase its capabilities, Hubbard performed a compelling experiment where a boat with an electric motor was powered solely by his invention. The motor had an impressive 26 kilowatts power rating, and the Hubbard generator itself measured 28 by 35. 5 centimeters. The boat's journey on a lake near Seattle, lasting around half an hour, demonstrated the generator's practical application. The mystery of non-patent. Surprisingly, Hubbard did not patent his invention. He attributed this decision to the complexities of the U.S. patent system. According to this system, if a patent's renewal fee was not paid within three years, it became public domain. This explanation, however, seems questionable, as a special committee was established to protect Hubbard from journalists and dubious companies. Additionally, Hubbard confessed to a certain level of greed, suggesting that he was awaiting a more lucrative offer. The unresolved end. The story of Alfred Hubbard's invention took a rather unexpected turn. After a late attempt to patent his device in 1920, media interest quickly faded, and the young inventor eventually ended up in prison. Although he was granted U.S. patent no. 723,422 for a radioactive internal combustion device for an internal combustion engine, Hubbard's genius seemed to wane. Investors withdrew their support, and he ceased his scientific pursuits. The Legacy of Atmospheric Electricity The mystery surrounding Hubbard's generator remains unsolved. The device, presumed to consist of eight coils surrounding a larger central coil, was designed to harvest atmospheric electricity. Each of the peripheral coils had two windings, and the ninth coil received an alternating voltage while the eighth coils generated the output voltage. The source of energy remained uncertain, but atmospheric electricity was the presumed catalyst. Alfred Hubbard passed away at the age of 81 in 1982, leaving behind a legacy that still baffles scientists and enthusiasts alike. The fate of his generators, and the potential they held for tapping into atmospheric electricity, remains a mystery. The story of Alfred Hubbard's atmospheric electricity generator raises tantalizing questions about alternative energy sources and the suppression of groundbreaking inventions. Could his invention have unlocked a new era of energy production, harnessing the electromagnetic field of our planet? While the specifics of Hubbard's device may remain elusive, it reminds us that the pursuit of unconventional and sustainable energy sources should never be abandoned in the face of opposition. Gift Free Motionless Electromagnetic Generator Meg Free Energy Transformer Generate electricity to power your home with just a battery or phone charger. The square pulse generator controls the power generation on demand. demand. The meaning of free energy system may not be familiar to us. So what is it? We usually think that the amount of produced energy cannot be greater than the amount of energy we use to produce that. However, in the case of free electricity system, what we get is far more than what we use. Some inventors had claimed that they have already achieved that stage. There are many inventors who have contributed to Tesla's original idea. Thomas Henry Moray invented a radiant energy device, Edwin Gray had the 50 horsepower Emma motor and Paul Bowman designed Tesla machine with two parallel magnetic discs. Dr. Robert Adams from New Zealand's invention, heaters, generators and electric motors are powered by permanent magnets. There is also the motionless electromagnetic generator, Meg by Tom and the electromagnetic generator by John. A Japanese doctor, Dr. Nakamot also invented the floppy disks which use Nikola Tesla's free energy system to generate free electricity right in his own house. With all those contributions, we are quite success in conquering free power. However, we still have a long way to go if we want to perfect non-renewable energy resources. First of all, we have to consider the safety when dealing with electricity as this field is quite dangerous. The second thing is its availability. The conception of free electricity does not exist, I have to admit. We cannot find any kind of free energy, but what we can do, though, is to find an energy source that is cheaper, cleaner and more efficient. The thing is we have to act now if we do not want it to be too late.